So when we're trying to explain uh, some of the DNS process and how we apply the different developmental positions to exercise and rehabilitation, uh, what's the best position to work in, where do we get the, most, the best activation, where do we get the best workload, um, pretty much the baby chart is one of the best ways to demonstrate this. This comes from the um, uh, RehabPS.com Prague School. Um, basically this starts at our three month patterns, traces all the way through until we end up all the way with our um, high kneeling, bare, squat, and transition to standing positions. Um, up top we have uh, little pictures of the lateral and contralateral pattern. They basically um, the kind of abdominal canister con concept or the basic models of trunk stabilization. So basically the way, uh, the way we use this chart is when we assess someone, um, we start with some of the lower positions and then we just kind of track through to see where we get. Uh, basically the supine three month position, kind of our 90-90. We, we take a look at more of our core stability and respiration uh, qualities to see how we to see how we track through. Um, once we progress our bases, after we uh, get into more of our rolling patterns, more of our five months into our sideline, we assess a little bit more of our oblique abdominal chains as we go across. Um, as we get into quadruped, we start to add in a little extra shoulder blade uh, so we can start to get some scapular assessments, some extra points going through there. And then as we start raising onto um, elbow, then onto hand, then transition into our um, higher positions, our quadruped, or um, our tripod rather, our uh, bare uh, kind of quadruped variations, going to our high kneeling squat and standing. We keep watching to see like, how do we, how do we add layers? So if we're in our five month position sideline, more of our rolling pattern type thing, we're supporting like more on hip and shoulder. From there we progress on to more of like hip and elbow, from there hip to hand. Then see, can we flip across into more of like an on all fours or on all threes position? So as we add or subtract those layers back and forth, what computes what computes best with your body to get the desired to, to get the desired effect? Whether it's good posture, less pain, uh, whether they're looking for a specific biomechanical effect, or if we're looking for a specific body reaction, um, and kind of this gives some take-home message even to some of like was you know sometimes they say if the FMS like train the squat last, like squats all the way down here. So in order to have this pattern down, we kind of have to have all the little pieces along the way built into it. So if we fail one of these positions earlier, it can't do with much proficiency. That, um, that discrepancy in motion and quality of movement is just gonna show up when we put it all together at the end. It might not be as apparent, but if we can't hold a bare position, we can't hold a three month, we have some asymmetry when it comes to our side sitting, uh, our quadruped or our rolling patterns. Uh, especially this one of my favorites right here, the seven month crow getting a little bit of the cross pattern going on the, um, going on the, uh, going on the abdominals. Whenever we're missing something down there, it's gonna show up in our higher positions down the line. So whenever, we take a, so whenever we take a look at you and we look at through all the different positions, sometimes we just observe a bit of a workout to show me what you're working on in the gym. I correlate to some of these and say, where do I need to start you? Do I need to advance you to a higher position? Do I need to regress you down? Do we need to start somewhere in the middle? Um, do we have to focus in more uh, ipsilateral pattern, which is more of our um, supine to rolling type things? Um, do we just focus on a contralateral pattern, which would be more of our prone progression, starting from here, then progressing up through to our quadruped patterns. So basically, um, this is the baby charge, and uh, kind of gives a nice visual summary for uh, DNS and some of the ways that we help people out here. So. Um, Feel free to gain, uh, take a gander through the, re uh, the website rehabps.com. Uh, this guy's available. I have a lot of parents just taking pictures of it as a quick, kind of quick resource for their kids to see how they're moving along. Um, so if any questions or concerns with any of this type of stuff or would like to take a look through, uh, scan through the rest of our channel, take a look through the website. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.